I don't know. I have PTSD sometimes still, maybe from a couple years ago, that every time we were man coverage, somebody would be wide open by like 10 yards. <laughs> so now I, got, I look up and I'm like, okay, it's man coverage. Like, you know, let's just yeah. stay close. But um, no, that's what Aaron Glenn wants to do. Dan Campbell told me after the game, they, they want to be a man to man team. Um, you got a new secondary, right? These guys haven't played a ton together yet, uh, and some young players in there as well. So I think that they probably need to, needed to see it throughout the first couple games. Um, but yesterday was, I mean, it was really, you're up two scores and you're looking and you're saying, okay, how are they going to adjust? Are they going to play more, you know, bend, don't break zone coverage, keep everything in front of them. And they just kept running tight man to man coverage. And it was outstanding. I mean, it was really good. And you had times before branch went out where, uh, they were doing a good job mixing up. Hey, he's going to drop underneath, uh, or he's going to be over the top. Kirby's jumping a, a little outside leverage, inside leverage, you know, so they, they were able to play with those guys and put them in different positions to really confuse Kyler Murray. I mean, it got to a point where he was just heaving up, you know, 50-50 balls there at the end of the yeah. game. And that interception, you know, I think it was just, hey, we're just going to try to take a shot. And Kyler Murray, that's the first time he's really looked like that this year. I mean, you, you watch those first two games against Buffalo and and last week against the Rams, man, he looked like one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Um, they I just, think, those looks weren't available on Xbox. No. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, maybe he put down the Xbox controller, but maybe he picked it up last week. Yeah. Um, but no, I think the coverage was just, uh, it was super sticky. The guys were physical, and uh, they the refs let him play a little bit. There were probably a couple more where, you know, they were giving both guys the benefit of the doubt, but uh, that's that's the defense they want to play. When you look at what they've been able to do in man coverage, how much better is that man coverage when your quarterback doesn't have a long time to throw? Yeah, I mean that's that's part of it as yeah, well. No, that's yeah, that was just popped in the back of my mind in the pass rush. You know, yeah. I think that has probably changed um, what what Aaron Glenn wants to do schematically as well. It's been three games in a row, and you know, I know he doesn't have got, to bring an extra rusher to right, get pressure. You, you don't. Right. You can send four man rush, and even when you do send six man rush, you trust your guys are holding up because they're yeah. holding up against four man rush. Um, but yeah, that's been. I, I think that's changed as well. I think we saw week one. It was kind of a lot of soft zone coverage, and yeah. hey, we like our pass rush, uh, but we got to see it. And then you go out, you know, twenty some pressures against Stafford and the five sacks last week. I think that's Aaron Glenn saying, you know what? I, I believe in this pass rush. We're going to go, uh, up against another, uh, you know, backup tackle. You know, so we trust that Aiden Hutchinson is going to be able to be a game wrecker again. Which he had a lot of really nice rushes yesterday, yeah. but again, the ball was. Coming out pretty quick. Um, but, yeah, I think a big part of that, too, is we're probably not going to have to cover longer than three seconds, yeah, right? right. And so we can play a little bit tighter to, to the line of scrimmage. We can take chances uh, maybe jumping some routes and, and getting our hands on the ball and uh, maybe some creating some of those um, you know tip balls and, and interceptions. And yeah. it changed after the first drive. I mean, the, the first drive, Kyler Murray was buying a lot of time, and they were running a lot of play action and a lot of seven man protection. So the pass rush wasn't great. Even the touchdown, I think Kyler Murray threw was, you know, he was kind of drifting, drifting, yeah. drifting back there forever. Uh, but the way that you were able to stop the run, the way you were able to get up two scores, that's just a, that's going to be the, the, the design for this defense to have a lot of success. Just release the pass rushers, let your, de- let your secondaries play tight man to man coverage and try to get a takeaway, which turned out to be a huge play in that game. And there's also one less guy in the routes. Because you're, you're you're taking a a tight end, a wide receiver, or a running back to chip or to to block Aiden Hutchinson along with that tackle, so you don't have as many guys that you have to cover down the field. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I think the pass rush is legit, and um, you know, Aiden Hutchinson certainly. I mean, it's three straight weeks where you know you're not playing any all pro tackles, but you know what? That's that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, if you're a game record and you're a dominant player, you're supposed to dominate against yeah. backups. So he's doing what he's what he's supposed to do. And Seattle coming in next week, I didn't get a chance to watch their game yesterday, but um, you know that's an O line that kind of gave them a tr- little bit of trouble last yep. last year. Last year, I think if they they allow Seattle to to run the ball and and getting those bootlegs and the play actions that has been killing the lines the last couple of years, then um, you know you're, you're going to have some trouble. But if you can continue to stop the run and then just release these guys on a third down and mm-hmm. late in the game, if you're up two scores, man, like they're they're going to win a lot of games like that. 